Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Muhammad Umar, medical diagnostic sonographer. Today I will demonstrate with you how to perform renal artery duplex ultrasound protocol. I'm going to start with our patient lying in supine position. I will try to get it from the anterior approach. It will be a little bit uh, difficult most of the time due to excessive bowel gas and due to the mesenteric fat within the patient. Now I put the probe below the exophoid process with the probe marker toward the patient head with the B-mode image. We have the aorta from proximal to the mid and here we have the first branch of the aorta, the celiac axis and here we have the SMA, supermesenteric artery and below it the renal artery it will originate from the aorta. And if I apply the color box we can Here I have the aorta and we have the celiac trunk. Then we have the SMA, severe mesenteric artery. At this level, I'm going to rotate my probe transverse. Here we have the aorta and the celiac. And as I move down, the SMA will arise and blow that you can get the right and left main renal artery. The right main renal artery, it should arise here. Here we have the aorta, here the IVC. It will be below the IVC, behind the IVC. I will try to manipulate the pop. Here I think we have the right main renal artery and here we have the aorta. So I will put the patient on the left lateral decubitus and actually this is the best way which I prefer to get the renal duplex study. Now by putting prop in the coronal approach, first I will try to get the IVC. We have the IVC. And below it, we have the aorta with right renal artery originate from here and the left renal artery originate from here. This is what we call it banana beer sign. If I apply the color, we'll see the image like this. We have the aorta here, the right main renal artery and here the left main renal artery. When I put my prop with coronal position, first we can see the IVC, and here we have vessel, which it will be the right main renal artery coming out from the aorta. Okay, now I will slide my prop in order to get the whole kidney on the screen. Now I will apply the color box and I will try to follow the main renal artery until the origin. So here now we have the main renal vein and main renal artery at the hilum and here at the mid, here at the origin from the aorta because here we have the aorta. I will try to get it at the origin. I will adjust the angle. The velocity is 90. Then I will compare the velocity at the origin with the velocity of the aorta. Here at the aorta, now I will adjust the angle. I think now I'm parallel to the visit. Hold your place, breathe. So now, relax. We have a velocity of approximately 120, which is considered okay, compared to the velocity at the main renal artery. I'm going to document the main renal artery at the mid at the midway to the origin. 
and even here I will take the velocity which is 86 then add the hilum at the hilum we'll take the resistive index and it should be between 0.55 to 0.79 here we have the resistive index which is normal after I get the main renal artery at the hilum at the mid and at the origin I compare the whole velocity with each other and I compare the velocity with the aorta now I'm going to divide the kidney to the upper ball mid ball and lower ball at the upper ball I will take the resistive index for the renal artery at the interloper and then at the arcuate and I will do the same for the mid and lower ball interloper it will be here and the arcuate the vessel which supply the cortex I will start to get that I will put the color and as we can see here we have a good perfusion of the kidney with the vascularity reach to the all of the cortex and the medulla so we have a good vascularity now I'm going to put the care cell at the mid interloper I'm gonna ask my patient to hold his breath for me. Just please hold your breath. Relax. I will take the resistive index. Which is considered normal because we have the normal edge from 0.55 to 0.79. Try to get the mid arcuate. I'm going to measure the resistive index, which is considered normal. So you have to do this again for the upper and lower ball. And there is one more thing that you have to make sure that your renal vein is patent here on the transverse view. We have the main renal artery and the main renal vein. Going to take the pulse wave for the main renal vein. As we can see, it is a little bit uh, versatile because it is near to the IVC. It's a kind of difficult procedure. Just first try to get the main renal artery, follow it until the aorta, get the velocity at the origin, then compare it to the velocity of the aorta and at the midway. Then you have to take the resistive index at the renal hilum and you have to check the perfusion of the kidney and then take the resistive index for the interloper and arcuate artery so that's all of it for the renal duplex it's a kind of difficult procedure it depends on the patient body habits and also you have to be aware about the pressing technique that you should use it and thanks for watching us for more video, you can follow us on the following account.